All right, go ahead, man. Like, some females, you gotta learn, like, which ones that you can come off sexual to and which ones you gotta come correctly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got some females, like, you can basically pull off that vibe. You can be like, you know, um, I mean, I see it come respectful either way it go, you know, in the beginning. But then you got the certain female that you, you know, get that vibe like shit. What's all about shit, you know? You know what I'm saying? What you got going on? You see, you want to get high, you want to smoke some blunts and, you know, drink beer, whatever. You want to turn up, you want to fuck. You know, shit like that. But then you got the motherfuckers that, you know, um, you know, you ask them how the day going. You're not into sex. Yeah. You run into either whores and you run into ladies. They either expect you to treat them like a lady. Yeah, they want you to treat them like a lady. Yeah. Yeah, you treat a bitch like a bitch, hoe like a hoe, woman like a woman. Yeah. You can't okay. treat. Yeah. So yeah, I just. But still, though, two wrongs don't make a right. Like, if a woman mistreats you, for her, for you to mistreat her back, you know what I mean? Two wrongs don't make a right. It's like I let a lot of shit slide about women because they might do things or hit me or whatever, and I haven't done anything back because it's like just because they lowered themselves to do that to me. Like, it's not yeah. cool for me to do it back to them, you know? Yeah, see, like. And I've had women punch me with a ball that fist before in the in the uh, drive thru at Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just like Sandy, right? Even though she was stripper. Right. Like, I could have, I could have, like, it, back in the day, I came on, I'm like, okay, well, she a fucking stripper. She she might not be a stripper, but, like, you no, know, strippers, they strip for a different reason. You got some that's just natural born hoes. Mm -hmm. You got some that's trying to pay the pay their bills, take care of the kids, and, you know, shit like that. You know, go, pay, go to school and shit like that. So, if I would have came to her, like, you know, respectful and ask her what she like to do and, you know, she like to read different books. She like, you know, have she ask her what she, you know, she's not been out of town, been to other country, you know, just, just get to know her type shit. I probably had a better chance of getting the phone number, you know what I'm saying, vibing with shit like that. Have, but just because I came off sexually. Well, I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if I was kind of respectful, you know what I'm saying? Just. It's not that girl, but she's not as well. Yeah, yeah. It's not at all. I said, have you ever noticed that once you get to know a girl more before you have sex with her, like if you draw it out, if you get to know her like about two months, you don't have sex with her, you like get to know her more and more, and then you finally have sex with her after about, let's say, two months. Have you ever noticed the sex being better because you got to know her first, or has that not been a thing? Well. That's kind of a good way to, to start off, you know, like, waiting. Cause like with me and Nura and shit, like, I waited three years before I got it. And, and that was an accomplishment, an yeah. achievement. But it was, it was hella worth it, cause yeah, we was together for eight years. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can see where I'm, where I'm going. Yeah, it lasted. Um. But yeah, when you got the motherfuckers in, you know, you, Fuck them on the first day. Sometimes it might work out, sometimes it don't. The longest you might get is a couple of years, you know what I'm saying? If it's like, you know, first time, you know, you're gonna smash the motherfucker, you know, first night type shit, but you can't really take them serious. Well, do you know what sex stands for? It's an abbreviation, it stands for sensual energy exchange. Damn. A lot of people go crazy and all these women go nuts and beat up cars and you know go crazy because it's like they got all this like emotion from you know swapping energies and but the way you block that off is you the way I call it protection <laughs> it's not just protect me from AIDS HIV and babies and shit like that it's protect me from the feelings cause when you go raw you have raw sex it's different that's when this shit gets you yeah, yeah. yep it's completely different you gotta protect yourself from this shit because that, that's where the energy is really exchanged mm -hmm. Yeah, to me, at first, it was like a game, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna fuck about this shit. All right, we got 30 seconds left. Anything anybody want to say? <laughs> we made it through 2020. Yep, <laughs> that's good. You got anything you want to say to my people on here? Anybody got anything to say to my subscribers? Anyone, anybody want to say something to the scallywag? <laughs> yep. Happy New Year, y'all. Got milk. Because <laughs> milk is the cure for all. <laughs> if anything happens, somebody breaks the arm, get them milk. Bye, y'all.